Awesome. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, the NCSU Tabletop Gamers first official stream on the NCSU Libraries channel, I suppose. Uh, I will be one of your hosts. My name is Diego. Uh, I am the vice president of the Tabletop uh, Gaming Club. Uh, and then I am joined by my two co-hosts, uh, Harper, who is the club president, and Corbin, who is our RPG coordinator. Uh, today we will be playing Scythe, uh, one of my favorite board games. Uh, it should be fairly simple and straightforward. Uh, you should be able to follow along. Uh, if you have any questions about the rules, feel free to ask us in the chat. Uh, and yeah, I suppose uh, that's the formalities of the way. Uh, as soon as I invite Harper, uh, I think we can start. Um, Harper, you are Neil. You, you, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I accepted the friend request over Steam, so we should be good. Right. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to view the Twitch chat uh, because having the Zoom working alongside of tabletop sim is a bit much for my laptop. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I, I see. Mm -hmm. So um, how do I... Are you online BSD? I am. Um, I have it hidden. Oh. Uh... Yeah. So as soon as you remove your hidden status, I'll invite you. We can start. Oh, no, you didn't. You already invited me. I'm trying to accept it. Oh, awesome. There we go. Oh, um, everybody's roles as part of the Tabletop Board Game Club. Um, Harper is the club president. Uh, <laughs> I am the RPG coordinator, which means I deal a lot with the uh, tabletop RPG side of stuff that you're D and D, your Pathfinder, all sorts of stuff like that. And uh, Diego, you are VP, correct? Yes, I am VP. I deal with announcements and emails and a bunch of bureaucratic stuff. So yeah, uh, I set up reservations, though not really this semester because we haven't really been able to meet in person, or unfortunately. But mm -hmm. if we were, does Harper <laughs> does Harper have his his block of Yes, he has his, his okay. censorship block. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we can do this one of two ways. Uh, we can either shuffle uh, for factions, or we can just choose a faction. Uh, yeah. I think choosing uh, would be easier, but it's up to you. I think tabletop sim is starting to crash on my part. I see. Oh, okay. It's trying to download the DLC. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, so mm -hmm. just give it a second to, to load in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, either way, uh, Corbin, do you want to be the Nordic faction? We yeah, just I'll just choose. be the Nordic faction. Mm -hmm. I, I like awesome. their design a lot. Uh, and Harper, are you okay with being Rusviet? Uh, and that's, well, I mean, that's Russia, right? Yes, yes. they're the ones that can do the same action twice. They're uh, also which is the one with the Falcons? Uh, that's Crimea. I think I would rather be Crimea. I remember enjoying playing as Crimea. All right, then I will get that set up for you. Yeah. Uh, am I still we'll in the buttons. game? Because I think that it would me back in the main menu. No, I think you uh, you were dropped. I don't. Yeah, I do not think you ever popped up in the game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, everybody, will will show you what the sort of boards look like. Uh, get that set up once we get Harper in here. Meanwhile, I will do a little bit of. Oh, welcome back, Harper. Yeah, my laptop is struggling to get things loaded. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that's no problem. Uh, I we do have to shuffle the player mats and choose one. So. Uh, Go ahead and draw one of the cards in the middle. Uh, you can go first. 
uh, what's your name? Uh, and once you load in Harper, go ahead and oh, right, you don't put the card. Just flip it and oh. you set this uh, player mat to state two. Just click two over it and it should work. Uh, and Harper, once you load in, go ahead and change your color to yellow so you can play Crimea. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, every faction does have faction specific skills. Yes. Uh, for example, the uh, Rus Viet Union yes. is allowed to do the same action twice. We'll, we'll explain some of the sort of basic mechanics as we're going. Yeah. Uh, and go ahead and shuffle the deck over here, Harper, and uh, choose your player mat. Just take the top one. Okay. Uh, While they're doing that, everybody, um, and so you it. have these recruit tokens. This is just sort of setting up what our board will look like. Uh, these here. round pegs are going to go into the holes here. They will be removed as time goes on. These over here, as you can see, the monument, the mine, the armory, and the mill, they all go in respective spots. Like the mill goes here, armory here, monument goes there, and the mine here. So over time, we can get this faction specific ability uh, that is called build, or not faction specific, but it's a thing that you can do uh, during your turn where you can take one of these and place them onto the board where you find it necessary uh, for your overall victory. Um, in the way, though, are these payments here. Uh, that's how much you have to pay in order to deploy or upgrade or build. So for example, if I wanted to build one of these four buildings first, I would have to pay four of this type of resource. This is lumber here. Over here, it is uh, metal. Is it specifically iron, Diego? Uh, I think it's just metal. I don't think okay. it's... Uh, there's oil, and then there is um, yellow resource. Grain. Grain, grain. <laughs> um, the ones that have this sort of border around them are ones that can be eventually upgraded to not have to be like paid that cost. So if I manage to upgrade, it will take something off of up top in this top row and it will come down here and reduce the cost. So now it will cost me three lumber to build one of the main buildings. However, what these technology cubes are doing before we upgrade anywhere is it's actually limiting the amount of resources we build up with um, the main actions that we can do during our turn. Now, most factions, uh, other than the Rusviets that we explained earlier, can only do one of these four actions um, at a time. And you cannot do the same action twice unless there is a specific ability that allows you to do so. Now, what this means is that um, you are going to be able to move, gain currency, uh, bolster your power, gain some reputation, resources, etc. cetera. Um, but they're all going to be limited to a set number at the beginning. However, as time goes on, and you upgrade stuff, you'll be able to drag it off and you will suddenly go from being able to move two tiles to three tiles. Uh, you will suddenly not be bolstering just two power, but three power and so on. And as you do that, you can bring these down to the tiles below and reduce those costs as I explained earlier. Yep. Uh, don't forget to take your two objective cards from up here um and you can do either one of those yeah just draw two of them and okay. place them uh in your respective hidden zones only you should be able to see those and 
that you only need to complete one of those uh, in order to get the victory point. So the way this game works is uh, you have to get uh, six stars. You have to do six you know, legendary actions, let's put it. Uh, you can either upgrade all of all six times, uh, get four mechs on the, the battlefield, build four buildings, up, uh, enlist four times, get all your people out, uh, do an objective, win two battles, get the max population uh, popularity or the max power. And once the game reaches six stars, we, there is one more round and then the game's over. And then the winner is the person who has the most money, and we'll calculate that on the end, at the end. Uh, so, so to recap, uh, you have these six stars, uh, like you can see here, and you will place one of those whenever you complete the required um, number here. So, for example, you win a battle, you'll place one of your stars there. Win another battle, you'll place it there. So on and so forth. Also, I believe you place your two workers in the grain and the worker spot. You should have two left over after placing them all on the on your board. Um, so. Yes, so you guys can see my cards as I'm the one sharing my screen. However, you will not be able to see uh, Diego or Harper's because you see this convenient box that is preventing uh, me from taking a sneak peek at their, their hidden objectives. And what are my dudes doing right now? Oh, uh, that's where they start, I believe. Oh, okay. And you start at popularity two and have six mine. Awesome. And the powers are taken care of. Uh, and with that, I think the submarine and bears are are here. I'll say right now that the table still hasn't loaded in for me. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, well, oh, I have you're set... stuck at ninety-one percent. Okay. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I've set up all your stuff, so don't worry too much about it. Okay. Uh we should roll to see who goes first. No, wait a second. That's not how it works. Uh, what number is your board? Or what uh, letter board is, is your number... board? Letter. There should be. I have patriotic three. You mean the number in the top right next to the name? I've got engineering two. Right. And I'm industrial one. So I believe I go first. Uh, and then Harper, because you're two. And then Corbin, because you are four, three. I'm three. Yeah. There we go. Uh, okay. So I will go first. Uh, the first action I shall choose is probably, hmm. Hmm. yes, that, that is my faction. My faction special ability is I can, uh, whenever I, my leader moves onto one of these encounter tokens, as you see, uh, I, we I'm supposed to draw a card, for example, like this, and I usually you would choose one option to do, uh, but I can choose two options instead. Uh, in that case, I should start moving, and I will uh, move my leader with one action, and. Move a worker over here with my second move action. And that's all I can do. And I will pass the turn over to Harper once he loads in. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen anytime soon, but I'm playing Crimea. And if I'm remembering correctly, Crimea's ability is you can trade, is it two combat cards in exchange for a resource? Uh, yeah, this one combat card as if it were any one resource token. That's correct, yes. So basically, in order to upgrade any, I can, oh, or I purchase resources, I can spend my combat cards. 
in addition to or in place of uh, resources. Uh, Corbin, also, you should start with one combat card, by the way. Oh, I, as, I should? Yes, as per your, your faction. Yes. Well, I, I was trying to show off your other guy's stuff first. Yeah. yeah. So, so start off with four power and one combat card. Yeah, I work the combat across cards. rivers. Mm. We're very good at swimming. What am I going to do? I can't really see what my pieces uh, are on because can they you haven't. see the stream? Uh, I can't load this. Well, I could see the stream. It's just that that would be too taxing on my system. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you have two workers. Uh, one is on a grain. One is on a town. Uh, the only valid move would be uh, either both workers to an iron or moving your um, your leader out. I think that I might move my leader onto that encounter tile. Alright. Go ahead so, and do that. So here? Yep. There, where? Yep. Okay. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. I can't really see where things are. <laughs> That's fine. Um, yeah. Oh, no, so, you're about to drop onto the strange volcano that's just there. Okay. So uh, I'll put this in my hand really quick so I can see it. Oh, uh, yeah. Then that's... flip it. Uh, Does it say for your eyes only? Uh, it doesn't. All right, then you. it's public information then. Yep. Okay, I will I will hold alt and let anybody who looks at my screen read it. So you can either... Yep. So uh, steer the disoriented mech through the fog with my lantern. So I would gain two oil of popularity. I can pay the strand man from the back, so I will spend four money in order to deploy one mech immediately. Or I can shout nonsense to spend two popularity uh, and get two dollars and two well, two money and two resources. <laughs> what will you yeah. do? Mm -hmm. How much? Like I can't really see how much money I had to start. I started off with five. Yes. Yes. You have. Five. Um, hold on. So <laughs> uh, the chat's asking, "Wait, Max? Uh, yes. yes. The the whole conceit of this game is that it's World War One, but we got giant robots. It is steampunk um, World War One. Yep. Yes. Basically, our goal is to get to the very center, or no, no like power. The, imme the immediate goal. Yes. Yeah. The immediate goal is to get to the center to get a special extra action card from the factory. You're, you're there to get a special Tesla card from Tesla himself. Yeah. Yes, which gives you basically an extra space on your uh, action board. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so hard. So I think I would like to spend four to get a, to immediately deploy a mech. All right. Which really one of one. your four mechs are you deploying? I'll smart the money for you. Uh, I can't really see what my mech abilities are at the moment. You can get the Riverwalk one, so you can move between uh, farms. Yeah, I'll, and I'll take the Riverwalk one for now. <laughs> yeah. All right, Just fair getting enough. that one immediately. Yeah. From farms <laughs> to tundras, so you can. You so can it starts off in my city. Yep. yep. Yes. There you go. That me that means, uh, chat, that you see this farm token here. He can walk from there to there without suffering any penalties. Yes. Uh, not a problem in the world. I think that's your turn, right? Uh, yes, because yeah. all I did was uh, just move. Oh, I yeah. would gain one extra money. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that's an or. That's a uh, slash. You're not going to meet Elon Musk. Yes, that's a slash. Slash. Very slash. sad, I couldn't very old uh, Nikola Tesla. Yeah. That is what's going to happen. Right. So, yeah, um, that's my turn. Now it is Corbin's. Yes, it is my turn. Also, can we state which factions we are playing? I, am I think playing... that we already did, but yeah. Yeah. I'm playing the Republic of Polonia. Yes. Uh, and my leader is I'm... Anna and Wojtek. Yes. I'm playing uh, the Nordic Kingdoms of Bjorn and Box. I am playing the proud Crimean Khanate, and I am playing Zera and Kar. Yes. So I will also move and I'm going to try and get that special objective. Hold on, my bad. You start. I, I was wondering guys. why they were there. My bad. Special <laughs> objective? <laughs> well, I, I'm getting the encounter. Uh, the encounter, right. Uh, take your encounter token. 
Uh, and draw. does equal submarine bears. Nordics equal strong swimmers. Yes. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and draw the encounter card. Yep. Um, me, do I have a hand to put this in? Uh, just click one. Oh, oh. you, you oh. drew the entire deck. I, I picked up the whole deck. My bad. Um, let me just place it in here for now, so just in case it's for my eyes only. It is not, so I will place it here. So I can let my bears frolic in the snow, gaining $2 and one popularity. I can pay three to enlist one uh, recruit or have a pure meat sandwich for lunch, uh, paying two popularity to gain four food. That sounds tasty. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, they are various for me to win. Um, so what can I use for food with? What would, what would that help me with? Uh, food is used to enlist. Yes. And enlistment, um, if you can sort of tell chat what that does. Uh, enlistment. Whenever you enlist, you take one of these recruit tokens uh, and you place it on one of these uh, tiles over here, which are a one-time bonus. This is two combat cards, two popularity, uh, two money, or two power. Oh. And power. I just saw power. that our advi that our club advisor Laura just said hi in the chat. Well, hello Laura. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning yeah, in. Hello Laura. Hi Laura. <laughs> uh, and whenever you remove uh, one of these recruit tokens. Whenever you take the, the bottom row action uh, of a, a certain uh, action tile, uh, you also get an additional bonus mm -hmm. every time. So okay. That's a really strong one to get as well. Yes. yes. So, hmm. I might, I might just let the bears frolic in the snow, gain that money and that popularity. Yeah. Um, Paying three dollars to enlist one recruit is good as well, though. Uh, I'll I'll let the bears frolic. I'll I'll get my two coins. All right. Oh, and okay. my one popularity. I'll move the popularity up. My for you. popularity. Yep. My popularity is now three. People sort of don't hate me. Awesome. I'll pass my turn off to Diego. Oh boy. Uh, I am going to take the produce action and I will produce on this tile. This tile is a town or village, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it produces people. And since I have two workers, I will produce two additional workers. It's a lot of workers. I do have a lot of workers now. <laughs> Frolicking bears does equal profit. Uh, and that is it. All right, not then as... okay. go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So then for my turn, I am going to choose to also produce, mm -hmm. which that's going to get me, uh, what was it? One worker and a green. Yeah. Yep. So I will, yep. Are you let it? No, not let it. Yeah. And that's all I can do. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, Corbin? Yep. Um, so, surprisingly, I am also thinking about um, producing. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and produce on my two tiles, which means I will get an oil and a lumber. All right. Amazing. Incredible. <laughs> That's <thing>. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Not as incredible as my four peoples. How much power do I have? It's a lot of power. Not that much power is what it's. Right. But do you have a mech? Yeah. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, so it was producing a common early game move. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, producing, is, so. <laughs> producing is producing is an early game move because you want to get as many workers out as possible. Mm hmm. Uh, workers so, is how you get resources to do basically all of your bottom row actions. Uh, and your think bottom of them as your bread and butter. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, oh. go, go ahead. Go ahead. I was thinking of them as your bread and butter, but instead of bread and butter, it's wheat and oil. So. Yeah. Uh, is that your turn, uh, Corbin? 
Yes, that that is my turn. Unless I, there is something else I can do that I'm forgetting. Uh, I don't think you have any resources, so no. No. Uh, I, I could have had a bunch of bear meat. Could have had bear meat. Uh, unfortunately, you do not. Uh, I will go ahead and move once again. And I will move my leader into this encounter tile. And I will move a worker into this uh, grain tile. And at the end of my turn, I will take this encounter token and do what my faction is best at. Uh, this is not for my eyes only, so I need public information. Awesome. So I can either knock down a tree to help the workers uh, with their daily quota and gain two food and one popularity. Ooh, hire the workers for a day, pay three oh, man. to build a structure. That's pretty good. Oh. Or pay two popularity to gain one worker in three. Ooh. Uh, I can do two of these. Forest fire. So, yeah. are you a lumberjack and are you okay? Uh, I'll work all night, we'll see. I'm gonna <laughs> gain two food and one popularity, and my faction ability lets me uh, do two things uh, on encounter cards. So I will also uh, pay three and build a structure. Yeah, and, and Trunx, uh says to remember that structures get built at encounter locations. I know, I know. Oh, oh. sorry. I had... just to... Okay, what? Uh, I had to undo it easy. Okay. Uh, and I will build and I'll just build a monument to my greatness. Okay. It's a lot of monumenting. Uh, and that is my turn. So All right. Uh, I'm going to choose to move again. And <laughs> yeah, I will move. I will use my verb walk to move across to here to get this encounter. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. So where do I? Uh, I just, just put it over here. Yeah. So and, let's and shuffle. Yep. yep. R is to shuffle. For those of you who are confused about river walks, um, certain factions have access to the ability to just cross yep, the river go. at certain uh, points. So, for example, I can cross from wood to iron. Is it's this hidden? No, it is not. All right. So, I can, let's see, offer to translate for the locals and soldiers to gain two oil and one popularity, make a high stakes bet and win a mech to pay four and deploy and not one mech, <laughs> or I can pay two popularity and gain one worker and three oil by intentionally mistranslating and seizing control of the oil refinery. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, I don't have four, uh, four money right now. You, but you could. Have, you do have two popularity to lose. I do have two popularity for that uh, worker and that oil. You could also gain two oil so you could upgrade later. I think that getting the oil right now is probably more important, so I can upgrade on my next turn. Or actually, I only have, I only have oh no, I can't upgrade my next turn because I can trade one combat card for an oil, basically, essentially. Correct. But you don't have any combat cards. No, I thought I started yeah. with one. No, you start with zero because if you started with one, that would be really good. <laughs> uh, that is true. Uh, I'm thinking of Corbin. He has. Yes. So, are you getting the three oil and upgrading on your next turn? No, I think I'm going to, uh, hmm, getting that worker seems really good, too. Yeah, it's worker and three oil, so you can upgrade yes. and get another worker down. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah I, can, good. I can spare the popularity for now. I'll get the three oil and the worker. All right. Uh, Diego. Yes. Um, the chat is asking... Uh, what is it a monument of? A giant submarine bear or you yourself? Uh, it is a monument of none other than my bear, uh, Wojtek. Okay. My my beautiful, um, beautiful bear. Where do I deploy this worker? I guess uh, I can 
At the site of the encounter, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Little buddy. And you get your three oil there as well. So let me just get you a three oil token. Just there you go. Call him an oil Fantastic. <laughs> or do they stay? Does this stay there? Uh, yes, because uh, yes. people can attack you and take it for, from you. That is correct. Luckily, right now, no one else has water walk or river walk, so. Yes. Bet. Corbin, <laughs> um, I think it's your go. Yeah, and. Yes. Yeah, that's all I can do. Um, and you can choose access to home areas. Okay, so. Interesting. All right, so my turn. I'm. Can you can you remind everybody what trade does again? Uh, trade is you uh, pay uh, one money and you either get two resources. They can be of any type, or get one popularity. Okay. It is a very um, good early game action. I think I will trade, uh, and that's one coin. Yes, one coin. Okay, I that's one coin. coin, and I will get an oil and let's get let's start getting some some iron, some some metal in here. So I will get oil. Just spawn that in and iron. And where do I place these specifically? Uh wherever you want. Okay, so I'll just place them here then. Yeah. Alrighty, and with nothing else to do on my turn, I pass it over to Diego. Awesome. Um I know exactly what I'm doing. Well, I do know what I'm doing. Do I know what I'm doing? <laughs> this turn became a lot harder. Uh, I need money. There's not a lot of good ways to get money. Hmm. I will pay one coin to trade for two grain. And with that two grain, I will take a bottom row action to pay four grain. Yes. What is he going to do with that oh, four no, grain? He's doing a thing. And enlist. Uh, and who am I enlisting? I will enlist this recruit on the two money uh, tile to get an extra two money. That's a good idea. A one-time bonus of two money. Seeing that you are you were currently broke. Uh, well, I'm not broke anymore. If anything, I netted That's true. I net one. And yeah, and now whenever I build a mech, I will also make an extra coin. Which is really nice. And that is my turn. All right. On so my turn. Uh, yep. Let's see. Where is my action thing? Here it is. Uh, so I have to move it on to the one I'm going to use the upgrade for, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to spend my three oil that I have. So in order to upgrade. So I'm going to get a, is that a tech? Yeah, technology cube, correct? Yes. Yes. Green cube. Uh, you move a one cube. of the top ones to a bottom row. Yes, of your choice. Yes. I think that I'm going to uh, move this, yeah, to there. 
Awesome. Yeah. You will need to only play so two. Now his max only costs two wood, which is kind of no. Ridiculous. I don't think that's his house's only cost two wood. Oh, that's his house. It looks like a mech from yeah, his buildings. <laughs> We out here in Crimea, no. we build our mechs with two wood sticks, and it's a lot of engineers. Yes, and my worker, my workers do not produce, correct? Uh, they do not. They do not. Yeah. Produce. So, where do I? Can someone take the oil token, because I just spent that. Uh, wait a second. Uh, they do produce. In fact, you should have produced first. You oh, pay. Okay, so I guess I do produce first. Yes, you pay a power. Yes, uh, I marked it. and then I will produce. On two tiles. Yep. Yeah. So okay. I would... Yeah, three tiles to choose. I think well. that I would... Pro yeah, I think that I would produce another worker. Uh, another two worker if you produce uh, on that tile, because you have two workers there. Uh, that's true. Uh, I guess, no. You can Well, you can Shoot. produce on this one and only get one. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So produce, uh, what, is there anything on this tile? I can't really. That's uh, another town. I still can't see any. Another town. Yeah, so just produce one wheat and, yeah, and then produce a worker. Man, where did I got, us uh, Scandinavians wish we had towns? Yeah. We had to borrow it from people around us. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> we got a spoiler. Yeah, and I think that's all I. Metal. Yeah. Yeah, and then you upgrade. I think that's. It. Yep, that's all I can do now. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Corbin, well, it is your turn. Speaking of which, I am going. I still to cannot move. see the table. <laughs> so I'm going about. to move. We got you. I'm just checking quickly. I am going to bring one of my bad boys up here next to Bjorn. And I'm going to move Bjorn over onto the mainland. Uh, from there, I am going to pay my two oil tokens. I don't think you can do that, because I don't think you have the river walk ability unlocked yet. Uh, I do not. Oh, if that's the case, then... Um... Yeah, because you don't have your river walk mech. Wait, so... So I'm just stuck here. <laughs> yeah, so you need to build I you need iron. Luckily for you, you have iron. Wait, I don't have my iron. workers my workers can swim across though. No, they can't. That's you good. Need a that counts for something. I don't oh, think they can. Okay. It says they can swim across on their own, but oh well. Um so I will just move. Uh, oh, they can man. they can as soon as you get river water. You don't have okay, anything. so I don't have river walk yet, which means that I'm going to move my worker over to here and my other worker up there, and then I'm going to spend my two oil because I'm allowed to do that. Um, oh, that's cheap to do. That's cheap for me. Nothing. Why are you those? Rid yourself oil tokens. You, you go over there now. And I'm going to reduce the overall cost of production. Well, that just needs to produce more. Well, I'm, I'm saying, I'm well, no, I was going to, um, I'm trying to decide what I actually want to take a technology cube from. I'm going to put it on my mech to keep my mech from. Oh, uh, swimming is available from the start. Never mind. You, you can swim. Uh, for the well, you know what? If I'm allowed to, to change my mind, I'm just going to move both my, my bright, beautiful boys up there. And I'm going to reduce the amount of stuff I can produce from. So I can now produce... I, I can do three movement, and I can only have to pay three iron to deploy my mech. That's what I'm going to do. Alright. Yeah. And that is my turn, Diego. Awesome. Uh, 
I think I'm also going to swim. My workers can ford the river. Not oh. allowed. They come to beautiful country. I will... Ooh, I can move first. <laughs> Hopefully mech time soon. I will move. Oh, uh, not my workers, but Anna and Wojtek uh, over here. Okay. And go ahead and draw an encounter card. Oh. Uh, Guys, I'm not. I'm not the bear faction. I think you've gotten it wrong. Uh, the the bear bears faction. belong to to Diego. I'm the um, the the big ox faction, as you awesome. can see. So I can either gain two food and one popularity by shooting a wild boar for lunch of bacon. A uh, herd of the boars away from town can pay two to gain any three resources, which I might just do, or pay two popularity to gain one worker and three food. <laughs> You gotta get rid of this. Um, well, I'm taking two actions. This bear propaganda, uh, making them take oh, credit for the the actions of the Nords. I am going to pay, pay two popularity to gain one worker on this tile, uh, and three wood. Three wood. Yeah. Why great. would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> and I will also pay two to get any three resources. And I will get three iron also on this tile. So okay. I have six resources gained. Um, I am very glad I did. Uh, how did you gain six resources? Uh, because my faction can t take the two options per encounter. Oh, card. okay. Yeah. Uh, and that is it. That is my turn. Oh wait, no, it's not. Uh, oh. it. I have uh, oh. three wood. Oh wait, no, the the encounter happens at the end of my turn. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Okay. Okay. So then, now what I'm what I am going to do is go over here, and I'm going to gain two money. Money. All right. Mm -hmm. I will get you that harbor. Thank you. And I do not have the three grain I need. I believe. Yeah, I only have two grain right now, so I can't. He leaves for me. That's list. not the grain. Yeah, uh, I have I'm... I have no money and I must scream. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, and that's all I can do this turn. Hmm? Yes, awesome. Well, using the awesome might of a bunch of poor lower class working dudes, I am going to produce two extra metal. All right, I'll get that for you. Oh, that's yeah. two. Yep. And here we go. Wait, did you have you not produced any workers? You know, it's kind of hard to do that when you can't get to them. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Funny <laughs> that. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't mm. it? Um, Funny that. <laughs> but but regardless, <laughs> that is that is my move. All right. And. As I do not have the money or the the grain to enlist, I cannot feed the the hungry soldiers. Okay. I will um, pass it off to you, Diego. Also, I'm going to go ahead and uh, produce on two different tiles. I will produce uh, grain and oil. So grain on this tile, oil on this tile. Uh, and then I will spend three iron, or three metal, my bad, uh, to get a mech. Ah. 
I believe the mech just starts right here. Yes. Uh, and, and when I get a mech, I also get three money. Let's look at that mech. Look at that big. <laughs> look at this model, everyone. Uh, little stumpy boy. And yeah, my river walk is between towns and middle. And that is it. Yes. And while we're at it, let's look at Harper's stumpy boy. Uh, go ahead, Harper. Yes. Here's your yes. It's a bicycle mech with training wheels. Mm -hmm. I am going to. Mm, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and produce again. And I'm going to make two workers. All right. Well, actually, I'm going to make one worker and one wheat. Well, you can make two workers here. Two workers, yeah. So you have two workers. And a wheat. All of the workers. I will so, go ahead and I'll copy it for you, don't worry. Thank you. And then that is all that I can do. Yep. Uh, and when you produce, you were supposed to pay the power. Yes, I can't really see where anything is. Don't worry, is. I, I, I got it, I got it. Thank you. Uh, I was supposed to pay a power too, now that I think about it. <laughs> Now it is my turn, and I'm gonna. You get to do the stuff at the top, and then you get to do the thing at the bottom. Correct? That's uh, yes, works. top first. All right. So I will pay my money um, to get to bolster and get two power. All right. You are the most powerful among us. Wow. Uh, you were at four or three? I believe I was at four. All right, then you go because to six. I went up another power earlier. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. So I'm at six power, which means that. Oh wait, hold on. Let me check something. Oh well, I'm not doing that one. Um. Oh uh, yeah, objective cards. I, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to succeed at at least one of them? Uh, you don't have to, but that's how you get one of your victory stars. You only need six, and there's, if I count correctly, uh. 10 of different objectives, so you don't have to do any of them. Okay. Well, I'll just I'll just do that for now. Um and then I will spend my three iron to finally build my own mech. Oh, I see. Oh wow. <laughs> yes, crazy, I know. Oh, I need oil. <laughs> Wait, so move across rivers to forests and mountains. Uh, move to and from lakes and retreat into adjacent lakes. Wait, this is just what my normal faction can do. Oh, also, yeah, you Oh, speed. speed. I'm going to go zoomy. Speed is pretty good. Because does that just apply to mechs, or does that apply That's to... That's uh, to all movement. So instead of... Ooh. This is basically, instead of one movement, it is two. Twice. Yes. Also, I get three money. You have a lot of mech. money. I do have a lot of money. But how long will that That's last? It. I already give you a little bit. Yep, and that is my shenanigans. Uh, your passive only applies to workers, not your, your commander or anything. Or your leader or mix. Speaking of mix, I have a mech. And I shall move a mech. Okay. Uh, I will move my mech and move my leader. Uh, and then I will pay three wood, which I have right here. Uh, there we go. And to build something. What will I build? I will build a mill. The mill. Uh, right on this oil field. So that's whenever I work uh, this oil field, it counts as an extra worker, which is very nice. Uh, and because I'm, you know, work the oil field, I also gain one money. 
It is not an ox neck uh, chat. It is a bow. It's a water strider. Look at that. It's got six legs. It's a boat with a gun. And gun I think boat. it's your turn, uh, Harper. Yes, that is correct. I am going to uh, use my move action to move my mech here and move all of my workers um, onto the, what is it, the mountain tile. I can't really see where things are. Is that is this the right spot? Yes. Uh, uh, when you move, yeah. mech, no, when yeah. you move a, a mech, you can choose to move all workers alongside it. Which is very good. One of the reasons that mechs are really good in this game. Yes. And now I may pay three grain in order to enlist. Assuming you do. Yes. Okay. And I will gain a money. I do gain a money. Then I, I am going to uh, move my recruit here. Okay. Yep. And I'm assuming which one are you choosing? Power card, two power cards, two popularity, two money, or two power? One time bonus. Uh, oh, I can't really see what they uh, things are. Two two power cards. Uh, I'll take two, two power cards. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, power yeah. cards are over here. Or combat cards. Uh, this good yep. too. So Ooh. let's see. Uh, draw one. Draw two. There you go. I should go to combat. I should shoot people <laughs> with a mech. <laughs> don't take that out of context, chat. Don't, don't, yeah, just don't, don't do that. Also, quick question. If I manage to drag my, my mech past workers, can I pick them up and then continue on their path with the workers in tow? Uh, I believe so. Yes. So, um, somebody said speed only applies to mech plus character. Uh, mech plus character cannot cross the water currently since they don't have that river walk mech unlocked. Right. Okay. So that means that only my workers can cross there for now. No. Um, however, I think I'm going to... I'm going to focus in on just producing... Don't take it out of context. More metal. The light blood of industry. I'm going to produce currently. Um, and I will get two metal. Uh, I'll just drag those back over from when I have them. So maybe, inevitably, I'll be able to actually make something and go somewhere. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alrighty. So that is my turn. It's getting rather short. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I will probably just pay one money uh to get two oil yeah i'll get two oil here uh and that is my turn all right uh i'm going to produce so i lose one uh power and one popularity wow. uh -oh. you are Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have the popularity yeah. to lose, I'm afraid. <laughs> that's, that's you're fun. literally yeah, at I the mean, bottom I'm, of the barrel, but your production isn't. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And I'm going to use it to produce my last worker and oh for uh, metal. You that's can't a... keep using your workers like this. Watch me! <laughs> <laughs> A lot of metal. The worker children. <laughs> yes, and that is all I can do. Alrighty. Well, I am going to pay money to trade. And I am going to grab yet another metal and an oil token. That's right. You know where this is going, boys. 
Let's get another knife kit, oh boy. No, where is it going? Tell us. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just building another knife. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I am going to. Uh, is that your turn, Corbin? Yes, that is my turn. Go ahead and pay one coin and gain two power. So I will go up to three power. Uh, gain one popularity because I built a monument beforehand. Ooh. Uh, and then pay three oil uh, to upgrade. Summon Exodia. No. <laughs> uh, and in upgrading, I will. Ritual Summon Luster Purge Soldier. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'll go ahead and. Ooh, so... I'll cover <laughs> this oil token and also gain three money. Uh, so. I'm at five now, and that is my turn. Oh, wait. Did I earn money when I upgraded? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Right. On my turn, I am going to spend one money to trade for uh, two wood. All right. Thank uh, you. And then I will spend my four metal to deploy, and I'm going to deploy the one for scouting. Scouting. Uh, move from a territory or home. Oh, yes. that's right. And yeah. because I recruited, I will end up getting three extra money. Awesome. Hmm. Yes. Where's the money? Mm -hmm. So, Where's just so the chat knows, one of Crimea's things is with scouting is that whenever I engage in combat, I will end up stealing a random combat card from my opponent at. Yeah, just from them, and I get to keep that. Yes. What scouting now? Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All, All right. right, it's my yep. turn, and I will spend a coin because I'm going to bolster, which means instead of going up in power, I'm going to draw a combat card. Diego, where's the metal pile? The metal pile is over. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, I spent it. Oh, oh, give it to me. I got it. I got it. I'll, I'll just delete it. Yep. Awesome. Uh, and while I do that, I will spend my three iron. I will put it over in Clan Albion. And I'm going to get Riverwalk because, dang it, I need it. No. Well, both of you have two mechs already? Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Uh, there, like two mechs. Swords in the plowshares. Um. <laughs> How about I pass to the fighters instead? Turn off the fighters. All right, so now I can river walk, which means it's the end game now, boys. Uh, oh boy. Oh yeah, and I also get three money. So give me money. I just realized oh. I messed up with the reference I was making. It's Black Luster Soldier. Why do I know that? <laughs> uh, oh, no. Those are fighters. Turn them into fighters. That's right. All right. And that will be my turn as I now have two. Ah, ah, ah. Nice. I will go ahead and move. And I will move twice. Hi, my commanding twice, I leave it twice to look at all the factory cards. Also, we are supposed to have only four, not 18. Oh, that would be good to know. So and he's going to get in the factory. I get to look at all of them and choose which one I like. Um. Ooh, kind of like this one. I kind of really like this one. In fact, it's so good that I will take this one. I'll be forever poor, but I have chosen a factory tile. I can pay two to get a mech and uh, a power, and also move two. Wow, that is really good. It is really good. It is pretty good, yeah. Also, what a very strange design. <laughs> is it like mech? a catapult? I couldn't tell you. Maybe. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, anyway, I think that's your turn, Harper, because I don't have enough wood to build anything. Yes, it is my turn again. Uh, I am going to go ahead and bolster, so I will spend one to bolster, so I get two extra, two more power. Uh, yeah, take that one. Got it. And then I will also spend the two wood I bought on my last turn in yep. order to uh, build. All right. And I will, I'm just trying to see everything. Uh, armory gives you power, monument gives you uh, popularity. Yeah. Mine lets you move. Uh, I think that I am going to build my, is my arm? Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to build my armory. All right. Uh, you are building uh, it where exactly? I am going to build it, uh, let's see, right here. Awesome. And I think that's it. Yes, that is my turn. Oh, I do get three more money for building, so. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, there you go. Thank you kindly. Uh, go ahead, Corbin. It's your turn now. Yes. Everyone is oh, rich. Shoot. So, so do we want to explain combat real quickly? Oh, are you going to fight me? To... Well, I, I kind of want to get to the factory at some point. Uh, combat. Uh, we'll explain combat when we get to combat. <laughs> well, I'm saying I could move this turn and like definitely... No, you can only combat. move two, can't you? No. Oh, you can, you can technically three move plus four. I have uh, three. The map. You do move three. Oh no, and you have speed. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, I can zoom across the board. Well, it depends if you wanna if you wanna fight me. I but that's the thing. I don't necessarily want to fight you. I just want to get to the factory. All right, then wait for me to move. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh boy. Plus, I want to be able to, to win a victory at some point. You are speed. You are you are go. Yes. Actually, no. I will. I will move. Uh, move action needs to be distributed to different units. By the way. Yeah, you can't. Uh, yeah, you can't even use move a single unit with uh, both move actions. You know uh, what? Yeah, you, you you cannot move a single uh, unit with both of them. They have to be distributed. Distributed. Uh, so I can't zoom my mechs up the board. Uh, no, not not quite. So you can get really my, close to the factory. So I can move here. Yes. Theoretically, and then I can move my mechs somewhere else. Yeah, you can move your mechs too. So up to there, probably. All right, so I would move one mech here, and one of my workers there. All and right. move my person up to there. Right. OK. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. Awesome. That's my turn. And since I cannot do anything else, that will be it. Right. Uh, awesome. Uh, I can't move, but neither can you next turn. Oh, I can move. Never mind. I will pay Ooh. two money. Uh, and also delete one of my combat cards on accident, so give me a few oh. seconds to reload. There we go. World reset once more. All right, I will pay Sorry two. Sorry for the flashbang, everybody. Uh, to get a mech. And that mech will be uh, speed, because speed <laughs> is amazing. Uh, and now, and I will gain a power. Yep. Just in case you were getting any ideas. Why is there a red circle around the seven power? Uh, because that's as much power as you can spend during combat. Ah, uh, okay. And then move three. It's quite a lot. Uh, oh man, I'm at ninety three percent now. <laughs> well, you're almost there. Yeah. Maybe by the end of the game, you'll be able to see what you're playing on. Maybe. Right now, it's just an empty white void. Uh, and yeah, I will go one, two, three. Punch. 
And that is what I shall do. Yes. Uh, so and that's... Perfect. Yes, now it is my turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what will I do? What will I do? Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and produce again. All right. Uh, yeah, like... so I will spend, so I lose one power, one money, and one popularity. I don't lose any more popularity because I have zero. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to produce uh, here on the grain tile and here on the uh, whatever it's called tile, on the metal I'm tile. Not just so like I get great workers. Do I have to be on a. Um, you have to be on a. Tile tile. Tile. Tile tile. So you get four metal. Dang. Mm -hmm. And one grain. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's an armory. I, yep. Boy, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that would there's, just a lot of, there's just a whole lot of yellow happening over here. It's blending together a whole lot. Like that Coldplay song, it was all yellow. <laughs> all right, is that your turn, Harper? Yes, that's all that I can do. Awesome, go ahead, yeah. Corbin. Well, for my turn, I am going to produce. So I will gain an oil and an iron or a metal. And that's it. Huh. Good to know. What? Uh, did you expect something more? I mean, a little bit. <laughs> um, ooh, I'm faced with a difficult choice. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to move twice. And I will take this mech here and then pick up some workers and move it over here. Get this iron tile. Uh, and I will move my leader over here and stop there. And then I will also not do anything. Uh, but at the end of my turn, I get an encounter tile or token. Amazing. And I will draw this card. Is it for my eyes only? It is not. Awesome. So I can either gain two. Uh, Diego, you cut out. We were talking. I think that he's disconnected a bit. Uh oh. Does that mean we win by default? Uh, I. I don't think so. Oh. Uh oh. Alan, that's that's not good. Yeah, that is not good, everybody. Yeah. I hope Diego's Wi-Fi just didn't completely cut out. Yeah, hopefully his computer didn't crash or something. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, does that mean we win? Uh, I think right now it might be a draw. Either that or we have to start over. So, fun stuff. Monitors are technical difficulty. So don't don't worry about it. We'll 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 help you see. We'll be your eyes and ears. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Hello everybody. We're morning. back. Welcome back. Uh, my internet died for two seconds, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, but thankfully, we are able to, to show off the game once more. Uh, we didn't lose any of our game data. And uh, Diego, can you tell us what your last decision was? To do I was going the, to. The mountain side? Yeah, I was going to gain two money and one popularity, and then immediately spend that two money and gain four metal. So let me go ahead and do that. All right. Uh, one popularity and four metal is the net outcome. 
Yes. Here. That is quite a lot of metal. Look at all that metal right for the taking. Uh, hopefully not to be taken by anyone, but you know, I can drink. <laughs> uh, and that's it. That is my turn. Hmm. So Harper. All right. Harper, so my turn. You. Yep. I am going to do this and I'm going to trade. So spend one money in order to get two oil. All right. I'll... And then I will spend four more metal in order to, uh, yeah, in order to deploy another mech. Right. Here. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm wow. deploying the move mech. That's finish. the right one I grabbed, right? Uh, uh move no. mech is at the very end. That's yeah. the okay. okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I can't see. Yeah. Yes. Again, I can't see where things are. Oh, so wait I a second. Get three Harper, money. You you have eight workers on the board. You get a star. That's yes. right. That is right. Also, I gain one I also gain a power because I have deployed my uh armory. Uh, yes, you get a power. I realize and not, you gain an extra sure money, there, yeah. because you have also enlisted. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. Excellent. Outstanding work. I am very good. <laughs> Our first about to I am get so good at this game. <laughs> so, first things first, I am going to do my movement action. I'm going to move Bjorn onto the factory. And you can um, take a look at the factory cards and choose which one is right for you. That's right. Ooh, that's certainly a good one. But that's also a good one. All right, show him what he's won. Oh man, which one's a which one though? Which one? <coughs> There's two that are clearly very so, good for me. So Corbin. Will you take what's behind door number one, door number two, or door number three? I believe I will take what is behind um, door number three. And I'm going to get a tractor with legs. <laughs> All That's right, right folks. Bees. It's a tractor, <laughs> but with legs. A patented Nikola Tesla creation. You pay some power oh, to man. get money. If door number two oh, was empty, was empty, well, that would just mean that you should probably switch your decision. Yes. Um, at the same time, though, um, I'm going to move my mech um, and pick up a worker at the same time, and they're going to cross the river for some, awesome. some fun shenanigans. Awesome. Um, and then I should have another move left over, right? Yes. We'll do those. Okay. If that's the case, then I'm going to move my worker to this food tile so that he can inevitably start getting people. Getting food. Yes. All right. Alrighty. Oh, and I will spend my two oil to upgrade. Take care. Drag my worker. I only have so many of those. I need to get my workers out. Let's see. How, how much power do I have right now? You have a total of one. Um, okay. I am going to reduce. I'm going to reduce the amount I cannot produce. And by that, I mean I'm going to to make it easier to enlist. All right, and that will be my turn. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I am going to think about what I am going to do. <laughs> That's right, folks. You want a tractor with legs. I sure have. Who's the real winner here? And now what was behind the other door? Uh, it, was, it was a bear with a gun. I wish. There's there's some real odd ones here. Uh, I am going to. Uh, Ask the turn. <laughs> no. 
Do you get a star for reaching the factory or not? Uh, you do not get a star for reaching the factory. Oh. It's just I... a thing you can do. Yeah, that's just a thing you can do. I will go here and pay one power to produce on two different tiles. And I will produce on tile number one and tile number two. So I will get one grain and two oil because I have a mill. And then I will get to pay four, no, three metal. I will pay over here. And I have one metal. Get another mech. To get another mech. Wow. Uh, what is this mech going to allow you to do? Uh, this mech is gonna... Wait, mix. does that mean you can move from a lake to lake? Like, you can just pop up in another lake? Uh, from any lake? Yes, I can just pop up from any lake to another wow. lake. Wow, that is incredibly good. It is pretty good. So, yeah, that is my turn. Uh, and I All right, this. so... Yeah. So my turn. Uh, I am going to choose. Um, I gotta think really quick. Come back when you're a little richer. Oh wait, Not a now more shoe. And I gain three money because I built the mech. Yep. Don't you know when you spend a ton of resources and yeah. in industry on trying to do a thing, you actually get money in the end? <laughs> yep. I am going to choose to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to gain an action, or, yeah, combat card. All right. Mm -hmm. And spend, and spend one to gain a combat card. Go ahead and draw one. So, let's see. Uh, draw a monster card. Oh. And then I'm going to use my coercion to spend two of my action, my combat cards Are in you, place of wood. You could, you, you only need to spend one. I only need to spend one for two. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, one combat card for one resource, and once per turn. Yeah. I thought, oh, I can only do it once per turn. Okay. I yeah, thought yeah. I could spend. Yeah. No, no, never no. mind. Never mind about that. Uh. Well, then, in that case, um, I guess I uh, have to pass. Okay. <laughs> You saw nothing. <laughs> All right. uh, I think it's e. Corvin, you're next. Yes, it is my turn. And I am going to, to give up some of my power so that I may become the best farmer on this side of wherever this weird hellscape is. Seriously, where is this it's land supposed to be? Why crusty. is there like vol There's like volcanoes and stuff. This is Eastern like, Europe. Or Middle Europe. Is Eastern Europe this waterlogged? If so, I'm worried for it. I, I am not uh, very this familiar is, with the geography. I think this is Eastern supposed Europe. to be the Crimea. I'm, I'm fairly certain Crimea. this is supposed to be some vague inter yeah, some vague interpretation of the Crimea. Okay, so I'm going to move a worker here. And um, hmm. if memory serves, the whole this game is supposed to be during like the Crimean War. Yeah. Or World so War I will one. move my workers, and that's it. Yeah. But also, it just means extra swimming. Um. Yeah. So that will be my turn. Oh my God! I am very tempted. Don't attack my bison. It will ram your incredibly tall neck. Because I'm ninety percent sure I can win. Are you sure? Ninety percent. But my guy has a musket. Sure? Are you? Are you? My guy has a musket and a bison. Don't worry about it. I have um, a burb. <laughs> That's true, you do have a bird, you can distract them in their cockpit. I will... 
move here and spend two money to get a, my last mech. Oh, jeez. Uh, and finish up the mech tree. And I will gain one power as well. So I get a four power. And then and I move. Me lose all my popularity twice. Plus, I move three times. Are you gonna bring you and your sons? Ooh, one, two, three. And I will move one, two, three. Oh, only leaders can resolve encounter cards. Never mind. Yep. <laughs> uh, in that case, I will. One submer uh, submerge over here for two. Your waterlogged submarine bear. <laughs> My submarine bear, and then three. Uh, but is it yellow? Uh, and then resolve the encounter. Submarine. All right. Oh, one. One. I draw the card. Is it for my eyes only? It is not. All right. I can either repair a broken fence to secure some pigs and gain two food and one popularity, pay two to gain any three resources, or startle some pigs and start a stampede, and pay two popularity to gain one worker and three metal. I don't need metal, so I'm going to pay two uh, to gain three resources and gain food and popularity. So first, I will get the popularity and two food. I would just like to say that this feels very unfair. You you can swim, so I don't want to hear it. And then I will pay to... My guys can swim, but they can only swim through one specific point. I've been No, no, your workers can can swim swim wherever. What? What? Yeah, they can cross any body of water. No, it's only your... Why was I not told this? It it, Hmm. it says. It says it on your thing. No, I thought... You guys told me that it was... No, that's only leaders and mechs. You mean to tell me I could have jumped over here and gotten, like, more people years ago? Yes. (laughs) Oh, come on. Uh, And then I'll gain any three resources. I'm actively behind, specifically because I've been missing... I will get wood. I will get so much wood. You deserve nothing but iron. Uh, and that is iron. Okay. Uh, and then I will pass my turn. Uh, very, very satisfied <laughs> with my actions. Mm. 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 I bet. Yeah, so I am going to. Bad. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, produce. Or oh dear, where did this? Yeah, I'm starting to lag a bit because I'm trying to view chat as well. So I spend one, I lose one uh, power, one popularity, and I spend one to produce, uh, producing four metal and uh, one grain. I will get you your four metal. Yes. And one grain. Oh my god. Yeah. Are you lying on the resources that you guys are hoarding? Because you didn't tell me how to yeah. make <laughs> So now I'm going to spend that two oil and one combat card for coercion in order to uh, upgrade. All right. So you spend the two oil and the combat card uh, to gain two money and upgrade. So what are you upgrading? And... Mm, I'm not going to do that. No. I want that. Mm. It makes subsequent upgrades cheaper. It does. I'm mm. moving three is really good, but you know, don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this upgrade like that. Mm, I see. Mm. All right. Oh, I do gain two money for upgrading. Awesome. I, I already gave and you the two money. My, yeah. Ah, thank you. That's my turn. All right. 
Or how much money do I have? I can't really tell. You have one six seven. Seven. Okay. I have a measly so two. Can can my worker produce more if I have the ability to produce more? Like, can uh, I produce two on the tile all the time? Oh no no no! The, these are the number of tiles. It's not per worker. So you produce on three different titles instead of two different titles. Listen, I, listen, man. I'm trying to get as much out of this as I've been missing. But I'm going to move my my peg over. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a dude. Make a metal. Make a metal. Um, and that's, that's about it. Awesome. All right. All right. Uh, I am going to pay him money. No, am I going to pay him money? What am I doing? I could move. I kind of want to move. No, I will not move. I'll move later. I will pay him money. Bring me down to a measly one. Gain three power. So I go to seven. Uh, gain one popularity. Five. Uh, uh, and then pay two oil, which I have over here. Oh, and I deleted a worker, but don't worry, it's fine. Uh, two oil, gain three money. And then upgrade. I will upgrade this to go here. And that is my turn. All right. So yeah, mm. go ahead. Yes. Will, so what I'm going to do. Right in one second. Uh, well, I'm going to choose to. No, nothing. Uh, Corbin, can you help yeah. Harper out uh, seeing things? I will yeah. be right back. I mean, Give me two seconds. Yes. So I am going to choose to move. And because I have speed, I get to move an additional hex. Mm. I will move. So where is oil? Which one's oil? Oil is this one. This one's oil? No. Or, where my where my can you here? Yeah. There you go. Okay. So that's one. And are you in the factory? I am in the factory. Yeah, I'm going to move here. And I guess we go to combat now? Yes, I guess so. so I steal a combat card from you. Uh, oh, OK. Yeah, because of scout at random. Oh. Did you only have one? Um, no, I have. Multiple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. However, so give me one at random. Okay. So put this back in there and shuffle them up and give me one at random. And back. Hello. What's happening? Combat. Oh, oh you're. Uh, here you Wait, go. did you take your your workers with you? I yes. moved them onto the oil and then I left them there. Oh, okay. It was take your so workers to see. work day. Yep. Okay. Combat. Uh, um, yeah, combat time. So. Uh, you have zero power, Harper. All right. Yeah. But I have all these cards. We How many can cards can you spend? One. Just one? Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, there like, is this handy like, dandy oh. reveal button. Uh, down here. So when you're ready, uh, set your combat dials and set uh, your combat cards. Uh, where's the combat wheel? Uh, I, can't I have a problem. Is. My combat Over wheel. Here. It's Q QW. Well, I have mine set to uh, 90 degrees, so I'm skipping numbers each time. Oh, set, it, set, set your rotation to 30 degrees. Uh, what what do you grab? I'm trying to grab say, my power. Yeah, yeah, you're you oh. can only set it to zero anyway. Don't worry about it. 
Uh, where do I set that? My controls? What? No, no, no. Uh, at the very top, that tabletop thing, right where the lift height is, Options. right beside the menu. The oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, things are stuck together, and I can't move them apart. What you're oh, already so I things have... are like stuck to the there we go. There's the power dial. Or... Oh, can I not? No, no, no oh, just leave it's... it there. Leave it there because you, you have the reveal button here. Okay, okay, all right. So, so the power one is how much power we're actually spending. Yes, okay, mm -hmm. so it's not our overall power. All right, so ready. Uh, ready? Both of you? Yeah. Come back. Um, just, just a quick question. What's the highest amount of seven um, power well, that comes in a combat card? Uh, six. Or maybe five. Oh, oh okay. Um, then I will. I will do that. So three, two, one. Two, uh, one. click your reveal buttons. Oh, Harper, click your reveal button. Yeah. Oh, um, can you see this? Or yes. That's yes, that's a yeah, five. That's, yeah. And can I spent three one? with. I I had a two combat card and I spent three. Uh, oh. on ties, I believe, defender wins. Uh, can do we want to check the rule book on that? We will do that. Yeah. Six, seven. Mm. Ties go to attacker. Okay. Uh. Ties go to attacker. Yep. So. Dang it. You fool. <laughs> I am a fool. I should have spent more. Yeah. So that was like the first. Was, so I get to look ridiculous. at the factory cards now? Uh, yes. Uh, so how do I? Uh, just click the right click and click search. OK. Well, so I won't be see. getting stars anytime soon. Uh, speaking of which, Carper, you get a star for winning a combat encounter. Yay! Wonderful! I did the thing. Oh, uh, boy, I'm gonna take this one. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm gonna take uh, this one. Or uh, there we go. Yeah, spend a resource to gain. Oh, to gain the power card and two power. That's actually really good for you. Yes. Is is it or move or and move? Uh, and then bottom row move. So you don't pay yep. anything. So it, yes, yep. and move. Yep. So I still have like uh, two other things I can move. I will. Uh, combat uh, should happen at the end of the round, but okay. Yeah, so. just just resolving that now to get that out of the way. So this is this goes back in the pile or discard. Yeah. Discard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, get a pity combat card for losing. Go ahead. Yeah, you do get a pity combat. Card yeah. For losing. Uh, it, it doesn't so mean anything really, but I'll take it all the same. One and take. Uh, the worker. Uh, if I could, can you move them across the river to the to right. where they can move to? Yeah, so taking that worker there. Do you take uh, your wheat with you? Well, he has to, otherwise he wouldn't control it. Yeah. Uh, and then I guess... Uh, you don't moving. have to move anyone. I guess I... Well, I technically don't, but... Oh, I also but you have no this. need for, for iron anymore? Yeah. So, yeah, one, and then move that also out to there. Oh, man. How many it's are you going to put on there? Jeez. As many as I want to, guys. <laughs> and then I'm going to spend those two wheat in order to enlist. All right, go ahead and enlist. Yep. Oh, man, Harper's doing great. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, what are you getting? What bonus are you getting for enlisting? Uh, what were the ones again? Uh, two popularity, two power, or two coin. Uh, give me two power. All right, so I will up your power by two. You are now tied with the <laughs> um, Corbin for the most power, for the least power. Uh, and yep, I think and that's that's all I can do on my turn. Oh, Go this ahead. turn's finally done. Go ahead, Corbin. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is? 
Um, I'm going to spend the money to gain. I, I got it. Um, Don't worry. Thanks. One iron and. Um, what else? And another person? Uh, yes. You know what? I will do that. I will gain another person. Put them there. I'll plop them right there. But two people, actually, because you got two people working there. Am I making a comeback? Uh, I didn't realize uh, I was that... I don't think I was that far back at all. I don't know. It's in the eye of the beholder, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, I can't do anything else this turn. What a, what a wonderful large collage of giant things happening on the other sides of the board. I will Bless end you. my turn. That was somebody in the background. Oh. Uh, oh boy, here we go. The phantom I'm, sneeze. I'm gonna move three people. Uh, You're going to encroach on my territory. One. Uh, two, three. Oh wait, I can only move two. So one, two, one, two. And uh, where do I do I want to move my last mech into attack position? Move it into attack position, but in a different way. I could just attack. Uh, nah. And then I will move one. Okay. Uh, and then after I do that, I will pay two wood, which I have conveniently stored over here, to build an armory. And what does an armory do? Uh, an armory, whenever I take the this action over here on my board, or for me it's the trade action, I get a power. Okay. Uh, and I also gain a money for doing that. And that is my turn. All right. So for my action, I'm going to use my factory action. <clears throat> so pay a resource of any type. Yeah, I'm going to pay uh, a metal. Right. So get rid of that one. Okay. So I gain a combat card and two power. All and right. I can also move one unit uh, two spaces. So also technically it's three. Yeah. I will take this here and grab my workers and move them back. Uh, you cannot everything. move them, your workers, with uh, your leader. It's only mechs. Uh, only mechs. Uh, I guess then, actually, hmm. You can move your mech. I can, can I move both of them or just one? No, just one. Just one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but mechs give you, I think, a flat like. You can play another combat card if you have two units in the same location. Two big units. Two, your leader and a mech or two mechs. Or... Yeah. Uh, I guess then, yeah, I am actually going to move the mech here. And then can I take it, like take the workers back with it? Uh, I think so. Mm-hmm. Are you moving all your okay? Uh, I'm gonna move the workers with uh, oh, yeah, interesting. Oh, you fool, I don't suffer popularity loss when attacking workers. I don't think that's what he's going for, but yeah. Oh man, I can't wait to just send my assault mechs. <laughs> Are you sure about that? He uh, seems pretty sure about it. I do feel pretty sure about it. Yeah, and that's all that I can do. All right. I mean, I'm also going to be stealing something from you, or one of your combat cards. Are you? Yeah. Oh, you I... do steal at random. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Uh, Corbin, go ahead. Yeah, so I can't really do diddly, but I will pay a money. I will draw a combat card and hope that it is 
better than the ones I've been drawing. It is on technicality. Um, <laughs> and I will spend that three metal. Oh, wait, did I ever get my combat oh. card from um, my factory action? I don't think I did. I, I will don't think you did. Either. Just try it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Is that your last Mac? Nope. Unfortunately not. Oh. Is that it? Uh, yep. Oh, I do get three money though. All right. I will uh, go ahead and pay a coin to... Do I want two wood? I do kind wood, of. Wood, wood. I will get two wood. No, well, I'll get a wood and a grain. Singular uh, wood, singular grain. And then I will spend uh, four grain to enlist. And I will enlist this one. And I will get, uh, ooh, this is tempting. Two popularity, two combat cards, two power. Mm. I will get two popularity. So it'll go up to s eight popularity, because I'm pretty sure I was at six. Uh, and yeah, that is my turn. Oh, and I gained a power because I have an armory built. Oh. Oh, wait. You should be getting power every time you have an armory. In no, no, no. no. Whenever, whenever you the, take. Just whenever uh, you take that action. Yeah. I should have gained. Shouldn't, yeah. Shouldn't I have been gaining, uh, I think, just one extra additional power because I had an armory deployed by the time I set up my third mech? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I should be at five power then. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, what, uh, Harper? Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hey guys, we have five minutes left for the stream. Oh, dang. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't yeah. realize that. Well, yeah. Well, we're not going to finish the game, but yeah, either sure way. Not. We can wait until next time if there is a next time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to remember the state of this game for next time. No. Yeah. Probably not. Mm. Uh, either way. Yeah. Uh, thank you for coming, everyone, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We only have yeah. five. Uh, do we wanna, thank you so much. Do we want to see who counts as Victor, technically? Uh, if you oh. want. Uh, do you want to do it at the end of this, end of this turn cycle? Uh, sure. Yeah, as in back I think to it's you, true. Harper, or back to me? No, no, as Corbin goes and then we end, because you just had your last turn. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, so I'm going to start moving my pieces. So I'm going to, uh, let's see. I can't really see what all the map is. Okay. So there's a space here and there's a space here. And then Diego's that's, that's a, no, that's a that's on, a lake on so, water. They're on water, so you mm. can't really move on to it. Uh, are you what are you doing? Uh, I am going to be moving three of my pieces. Okay. So, uh, oh, neck of the lake. What so moving do? this here. All right. Uh, leaving one worker. And moving. I'll take the worker. Yeah. Oh, leave the worker oh. here. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Uh, well, leaving one worker where I was before, actually. Uh, so leaving uh -huh. one worker there, one worker here. Uh, and your river walk is to uh, grain and oil, by the way. From grain yeah. to oil. Grain to mm -hmm. oil. So no oh. valid locations so for river walking. Is it? I know, but can I? Um, is there like a tile here? Uh, yes, but that's iron. That's iron. That's metal, my bad. Yeah, yeah that's, my, no. that's my wall. Yeah. 
I mean, that's fine, but I think that I'm going to move, uh, I'll leave one worker here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, hang got on. it. Yeah. Are you leaving your metal there too? Uh, I mean, I'm going to leave it with the worker that's there. Yeah. All right. Uh, you cannot river walk to that tile. That's I know, it. I wasn't trying to. I was just trying to grab it. Okay. Well, where do you want to move? Uh, there's a tile that's to my to this tile's right, right? This one? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I guess right I, right. I am going to take the three workers in the middle there as well. In the middle. Awesome. Yeah. Right, and then let's see if still less two than more a minute. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I think we're just going to uh, wrap up. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to move everything else onto here as well. All right. Thank you for coming and watching us. Uh, yeah, board game. Thank you for coming, everybody. Yeah. Uh, uh, Corbin, what were you going to do with your last turn? Check shit. Um, <laughs> um, no, I was going to, uh, to do some moving. And I was going to move my new peasant horde over to the grain, get some grain, and then, um, I don't know, move some mechs around, go exploring. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea. Anyways, yeah. that, that'll be all. Uh, well, thank you for coming, everyone. Uh, hope you, you so much. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the stream. I know. Thank you all so much for coming to tune in and just watch us play this board game online. Yeah. Um, you all could have here. been doing anything else with your time, but thank you for spending it with us. Yeah. Uh, we we are the NCSU Tabletop uh, Gamers Club. Um, mm -hmm. We have a uh, there's a there should be a link to my our website in the chat, I believe, and uh, I can try and post a discord link um, oh wait i don't have uh, the twitch open on my computer mm -hmm. uh but yeah, but yeah uh, contact us through our um get involved page we can add you to our mailing list or um, to our club discord if you yeah. like mm -hmm. uh, we haven't really met this much this semester because of covid but next semester since covid regulations are you know loosening up we'll probably be able to meet in person again and we'll We'll hope to see you all at one of our meetings. But yeah, yeah. thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all so much for coming, and thank you, NCC Libraries, for having us. Yes, thank you. Yes, this has been a fun experience. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye. See yeah. you all. Uh, bye, everyone, and thank you.